Hey, welcome back to Beer Geeks, Beer Geeks, and this evening here we go with an empty glass and the beer. The beer we're um, going to be reviewing this evening is Stone's Collective Distortion IPA. Man, they give you that little tidbit in the back note right there. And um, let's see, it is an India Pale Ale brewed with flavors of elderberry and coriander and comes in at a whopping 9.3% in a pint 0.64 ounces. I did read a little something about this. I, I do like um, the little microphone and jacking right there. I love the hop design as always, but uh, I love the designs that they do for these bottles. So that's, that's just really cool. Let's pop it open and get it into a Stone IPA glass. Alright, here we go, man. Here we go. Okay. I don't know if that's really going to be worth it, but at the same time, I don't mind paying the price if it's a good beer. And because it's an IPA, I know it's going to be a decent IPA coming from Stone. So let's go ahead and do a pour. Beautiful. Look at that color looks rich and thick like hot juice lovely but uh, get it up close so you guys can see some color to it now if I get it back here you guys would get more of a realistic color for the beer in a full and as always I like to stir up some carbonation I like to get it going on there. Man, there's a lot going on there if you guys can't see it. Let's see if we can't focus in on some of that. Nope, it's just too blurry in the background. And let's go ahead for some aroma. Man, as always, Stone knocks it out the park with the aromas because of the sheer fact that they do a abundance of hops, man. That's all you can get is hops, 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 hops. And as for coriander and elderberry I don't know man hmm oh. I, th I think maybe you're gonna get a little bit of that coriander in the nose but other than that I mean it's just an abundance of hops hops up in your face man you're getting that grapefruit you're getting the pine it does smell a little bit of like a um, papaya pretty much all of your West Coast hop styles. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and get into it, shall we? Here we go. Mm. That's lovely. First off, I want to go start off by saying that it, it does, it almost tastes a little thick because of the fact that it's like the, the, the amount of malt that they had to use for this and the amount of hops that they had to use for this it's just that it has to be in abundance. Um, it, it, I don't want to say that it's a generic like take on some of the other IPAs that Stone makes, but the, the coriander in here to me is so subtle. I mean, it is just, it's just a fine line that you can pick it up. Elderberry, I mean, there's so much fruit compound flavors going on here. Um, it, it's hard. It's really hard to sit there and try to pick out something that's just going to blend in so well. Um, but with that said, hey, man, it's a stone IPA. Are you going to go wrong there if you want an IPA? Of course not. But at the same time, I mean, if you're going to make something with an ingredient such as like, we'll take this one, for example, with the coriander and the elderberry. I, I want those to be, you know, I don't I don't necessarily want to say front and center, but at the same time, I don't want to say, hey, you know, let's push them to the background. You know, so when the drinker just sips on this, they're just going to see, um, hey, it's a stone IPA product, um, which I think that this has done. I. I I'm getting a fine line of the extra ingredients. <sighs> if I had to give it a rating because of, the, of what it's got in it, I'm going to say, hey, it's a B minus. 
Um, but am I going to rate it because of the style? The style being an IPA just brewed with spice notes or spices. Um, it almost can mix in with a fruit spiced IPA. Um, I don't know, man. Hey, it, it, each to their own. And I'm going to get up out of here. I've wasted enough of your time for this evening. And as always, man, hey, find me up on Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, Twitter, and Instagram, other things that I probably forget to mention off and on. Hey, man, I'm worldwide on the interwebs. Um, with that said, remember, drink great, amazing craft beers. Don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. And as always, thanks for coming and enjoy. Cheers.